What are the best reseller hosting packages available right now? Let's find out. What's up everybody, it's David, WebCityCravePro.com. So reseller hosting is actually something that I haven't really talked too much about on this channel, and I wanna lead off this topic by creating a really helpful video on the best reseller hosting packages that you can purchase right now. Now what reseller hosting is, it's just a form of web hosting that a lot of different web hosts offer. Whereas if you purchase a package, then you get a bunch of resources and then you're able to resell those resources to your own clients under your own brand, if that makes sense. So instead of being like an affiliate for Bluehost and GoDaddy and getting that one-time payment, that one-time commission, you're actually able to kind of functionally build your own little mini web hosting company and capture your own clients and get and build that recursive income over time for yourself. So reseller hosting does have a few quirks, has a few specific things that you really need to know and you really need to pay attention to when making a purchase decision. And that's what I'm gonna help you with in this video. So if you're ready, let's jump into my laptop and begin. Number one is NameHero.com. So honestly, NameHero is number one because I personally think that they have some of the best reseller hosting packages around. I appreciate the attention to detail where they go into like just a lot of detail about what you specifically get. Because later on in the video, you're gonna see a lot of reseller hosting packages where they kind of leave you hanging where they don't explain things and it feels like they kind of abandon their resellers. Name Hero uh, is fantastic because they really get into the nitty gritty and you know exactly what you're getting and I appreciate that. And so I love this right here where we lead off with 100% white labeled reseller hosting accounts. What does that mean? It means that like you can create your own brand, okay? And then you can resell web hosting and you can have domain name registration through your own website and then you build that passive income over time. And then with free WHMCS automation, if you're like, what is that? Well, WHMCS is just a piece of software that automates the billing for your clients that register through your website. And so that's incredibly important because if you don't have that, that means you either have to A, find out another solution, B, do it manually, or C, get your own WHMCS license, which is quite expensive, then set everything up on the back end. With Name Hero, you get the essential things that you need to get started being a successful reseller. So anyways, let's take a look at their packages. This is what I mean. Like I love the details. So uh, their silver package is uh, $19 and it renews at 34. That's fine. Now you get a bunch of different things. So I like that we have tells me literally uh, this is how much storage I get and this is how much bandwidth I get. And so for this, you know, when you have different clients, you're going to have to like divvy out this between the clients you have, if that makes sense. So, uh, you know, right down here, we have 40 client accounts. So that's th these are the things that are really important. The reseller account you want. You want to pay attention to make sure you have this WHMCS and you want to pay attention to how many client accounts can you have and how much like storage and bandwidth can you get? Because, uh, you know, like if you have like 40 clients, you may get close to using up all this storage and bandwidth over here, if that makes sense. So you kind of just need to know that. And I think this is a fair price for what you get. Uh, 40 client accounts is a decent amount of clients. So that means like 40 specific accounts. Uh, and so that's, this looks like a fantastic way to get started. And uh, Name Hero is not the fanciest looking of websites, but like we come down here, I really like, let's get right down here. Uh, let's come up there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that's what I mean. They could really make this page a little bit better. But I like this. So resellers have the ability to create unlimited cPanel accounts with our standard account limits. And here you go. This is what you get. You get one full core CPU, out disk space allocated from the master plan, virtual memory, physical memory, concurrent connections, 25. I really appreciate all this uh, detail that I get. And I can click here to nerd out on even more details. I really like that they treat their resellers like uh, you know the website professionals that a reseller is. Like someone who's getting to reseller kind of understands web hosting, understands how to make websites. You know, they're not newbies who have never had a WordPress website ever. So I really like that I can jump in here and it's like, ah, okay. Like Lightspeed web server, faster than Apache. Yeah, free website templates, like free scripts. Uh, and then I have all the other, uh, and I know how much storage I get and how many client accounts I get. And so I just think this is a, just a fantastic starter plan because you get light speed server, you get a good storage, good amount of bandwidth, you get 40 client accounts, uh, you get in WHMCS automation, it's white labeled. I think this is just a fantastic uh, a ho reseller hosting package on the web. Anyways, that is number one, namehero.com. Number two is a2hosting.com. So I would say that a2hosting is the primary competitor to Name Hero. 
uh, com when it comes to reseller hosting. So A2 is number two because they are my second choice. They offer a great hosting package. I don't like them as much as I like Name Heroes reseller hosting package, but let's just take a look. So the first thing I don't kind of like is this, like it starts at $18.99. Like what do you mean starting at $18.99? Then it's like 45% off was $34. So is this an introduction rate? And then the renewal rate is this? Like just tell me, just say it. Like just say like, introduction rate is this renews at renews after your first year at this just tell me that don't use this confusing language because then i gotta send a message being like i want to confirm is it 34.99 like i'm most likely it is but that's a little bit expensive too for a, a real beginner reseller hosting package as well i think it could be uh personally like name hero is a little bit cheaper so I, that's some that's why again I like name here just a little bit more but anyways let's come down here we have to click on this the full details to really have a clear understanding and this is something that i love about a2 hosting just like name hero where they go into detail about what you specifically get you can really get into the nitty gritty real specific details about what each uh hosting package allows you because you're going to be having your own business people are going to be relying on you you need to understand like what resources you're getting because you want to provide a quality hosting experience for your clients as well as domain name registration and so plan resources we'll just take a quick look so we get 60 gigabytes of storage and we get raid 10 ssd storage what raid is is just like when you take two hard drives and then you can connect it and have it the computer recognize two hard drives as one and i think raid 10 is like having four hard drives acting as one something like that but that's what raid is anyways we have 60 gigabytes of transfer now what do i want to really know i kind of want to know like how many uh client accounts do i get so let's come down here let's keep keep scrolling uh where is it okay there we go sorry <laughs> 20 client accounts and so okay so if it renews at 34 and we get 20 client accounts that's eh, not that's a good price it's not bad but like name here is just better and so let's come down here and what's also important that we need to know is we need w h m c s <laughs> that's such a mouthful to say unfortunately with their cheapest package that's an additional ten dollars a month and so while this says 18.99 a month and like maybe prepay for like the first year it's going to actually be functionally uh, add ten dollars to this because you know you're not going to want to have a reseller hosting package that doesn't have that okay let's come back here so with all the other packages it's free and so functionally speaking like what package would you actually want to get you'd want to get their launch package you'd want to get their launch package or their grow package and so this is going to be fifty dollars and it's going to be almost seventy dollars so they offer a lot in the way of storage and resources uh, and that's what i like a2 hosting because you know your clients are going to have a very responsive fast web hosting experience uh but the downside is that they don't offer a lot of accounts okay so like with name with name here you get more accounts and so this is like 30 50 75 and so you know it's not impossible to get to 40 50 accounts so uh, no, that's just one thing to be aware of. And so it's really up to you. It's your call. That's why I'm kind of trying to educate you and show you like which, how to compare these two. Okay. So like A2 hosting, they get, I think they give you a little bit more in terms of like resources, but they give you fewer client accounts. So you're going to hit that limit. Whereas name hero gives you more client accounts, but a little bit less resources. I don't like that. Their free plan doesn't have W H M C S. <laughs> you have to pay an additional $10. So it's kind of that's the downside i mean like you're that that for me that makes it like eh, i'm not even gonna look at this i'm gonna look at this one this one this one but anyways that is number two a2 hosting number three is greengeeks.com so green geeks offers a very good reseller hosting package and so they have three packages right here and so their lowest price is 19.95 which is an introduction rate and it renews at 29.95 a month which i think is a fair price considering what you get and so what you specifically get is you get 60 gigabytes of ssd disk space 60 gigabytes of transfer and you get 25 accounts and of course you get uh free ssl certificates for all your clients now it says free ssl certificates certificate i'm going to assume that they mean like certificates for all web hosts hosted through your reseller hosting account uh, so you know if you have a question uh, obviously always contact the web host just to get clear on anything but we still need a little bit more detail before we can make like a purchase decision so i really like this because we can come down here 
and then it explains what the reseller hosting platform is right there. And then it literally gets into nitty gritty details about what clients will specifically get which I really like. So we can like host unlimited domains. And so that means like you can have, you, you can offer like unlimited, uh, like unlimited domains to your, within your own hosting packages. So as a reseller, when you create your own packages to sell to your clients, you can have that as like, Hey, host with me and you can have unlimited websites because most people aren't going to actually take advantage of that. Usually that's why web posts say unlimited websites, because most people usually end up with like two to six max. And so, you know, that's really nice to know that like you can offer that type of service uh, by going through uh, this right here. So just pay attention to like this section right here because it explains what you specifically get. And so like e-commerce capabilities, free Let's Encrypt wildcard, which is really important, free shopping cart installation, premium SSL certificates, which you we can sell as an upsell, for example, to uh, people who want to host through us. And then right here, we get we get specific features that we get, which is really important to know. So for example, free cPanel migration. And so if you're hosted at like Name Hero or A2 Hosting or HostGator, and you want to move your reseller account from them to uh, Green Geeks, Green Geeks will do it completely for free, easily deploy WordPress. So uh, you can easily deploy WordPress, WooCommerce, Joomla, and other content management systems. So you can offer like this one click uh, install, which is kind of like expensive nowadays it's not for me that's not like a big upsell that's kind of a, a standard thing to offer people when you're you know people sign up and you know have hosting through your reseller account they're going to expect to have access to cpanel and to quickly and easily uh launch like wordpress for example and then right down here this is really important whmcs oh yeah guys they need to come up with a different name of it it's a long acronym but it's really nice that we get this f included within our account okay and so we can start we can have this nice low price starter account at 1995 we can try out reseller hosting for one year with our account we get uh, whmcs included and so that automates the billing and the hosting and all that good stuff that we need to t that technical stuff that we need to take care of that's already taken care of because of that software and i think green geeks is a excellent starter uh reseller hosting account so anyways that's number three greengeeks.com number four is inmotionhosting.com so inmotion hosting offers great reselling hosting packages and they lead off with this strong white label reseller hosting i love that because that means like look it's going to be your their services under your individual brand that you want to create so i really like that so let's take a look so their introduction package is great 1539 that's very cheap and that renews at 29.99 a month with just their intro introduction rate you get 80 gigabytes of sd storage 80 gig 800 gigabytes of bandwidth and I, that's great and then 25 c panel accounts that's awesome so you can have 25 client accounts with their beginner hosting package and they offer enough resources with this package to actually have 25 uh accounts with like multiple websites so maybe like like one person has their own cpanel account but then they have two websites on their cpanel account that, that that makes sense so you can have like you know that's enough resources 80 gig, 80 gigabytes of storage and 800 gigabytes of bandwidth to actually um kind of have enough like fill up the accounts like that because like oftentimes people either you hit the limit as a reseller with your accounts or you hit the limit with your storage that's typically what happens anyways i really like inmotion hosting because as again like all the other web hosts we've mentioned so far they get into the details you get specific details about what you get and so for example we get their uh there are 1000 1, S and we come down here, uh, we have different other option terms. We come down here and then we have additional features that they offer like all, all in plans include free SSD storage, free billing software. So I'm assuming that's the web host management, whatever, <laughs> that super long acronym is optimized for WordPress, uh, cPanel and WHM included. Uh, if you don't know what WHM is, that's web host management. So like web host management is like the broad software that you use to manage like a VPS or a server and through WHM, you can create individual cPanel accounts. Uh, it's a little technical, you know, most people have no idea about WHM, have never used it. If you've ever managed your own VPS or a server, you'll have access to WHM. And it's a little techy, uh, so, you know, just know what you're getting into with reseller hosting. You're going to have to learn a couple different new technologies. Anyways, what I personally really like is right here. We have reseller hosting specifications. I love it. We could just broad overview 
lots of detail, gets into specific things that I kind of need to know, like disk space, monthly bandwidth, RAM, cPanels included, data protection, uh, dedicated IP address, free SSL certificates, etc. And then last, they have this very helpful reseller hosting FAQ. And so for example, uh, we come down here, like how do I, like how will I register domain names for my customers? Can I have custom name servers, for example? And like, this is great. For example, like, you know, like all like web hosts, like in my long form tutorials, when I tell you to like sign up through Bluehost, Bluehost has their own dedicated name servers. You can have your own name servers with your own reseller hosting account. And so that means that's a little technical again, but it does, it's not too complicated to set up, but you could set up like, uh, you know, uh, website creative hosting.com NS one website, creative hosting.com. And so you can have your own branded, like uh, name service to like make, make sure everything truly, truly, truly is white label because you know, sometimes it'll say like white label reseller hosting, and then people will buy, you know, they're a hosting package through your reseller account. And then when it comes time to like changing the name servers that say like Namecheap or wherever they got their domain name, if they didn't get their domain name through your reseller hosting account, then it'll be like, oh, NS1 inmotionhosting.com. And then people are like, wait a second, I thought I was buying website creative hosting. And then it's like, this, why is the name server this? And so that's why I really like attention to detail like this, like answering specific random questions. Can I have a custom name server? Yep, yep, absolutely can. This is how you set it up, etc. So anyways, that's number four in motion hosting. Number five is hostpapa.com. So they offer white label reseller hosting. So let's go and take a look. And so they have different packages right here. But uh, one thing that you're going to notice is that they don't have any type of like introduction rate. They automatically start at the standard renewal rates. And so that's a little bit of a downside because other hosting uh, reseller hosting packages, they usually have like, you know, 1999, 1599, whatever as a starter plan and then renews at 2999. And so right down here, we get four core CPU to two gigabytes of RAM and 50 gigabytes of SSD. Now, one thing that you need to know is that like when you see this two gigabytes of RAM, 50 gigabytes of SSD, et cetera, that's going to be spread across the 20 accounts. So we can have 20 C panel accounts. That means you can have 20 specific clients paying you monthly for web hosting services and then you got to divvy up the four core cpu to two gigabytes of ram 50 gigabytes of ssd etc and so for this price i think that's a you know i would i personally would rather i'd kind of expect to see maybe 25 cpanel accounts and the the amount of like resources you get a little bit on the lower end like i was more expecting something like 60 gigabytes and like 600 gigabytes of bandwidth 25 C panel accounts for this kind of price point. Uh, and then there's no introduction rate on top of that. And so if we come in here to the essential features, uh, this looks really nice where, you know, it's, it's white label. Okay. So it's like, you can set up your private name servers, brandable C panel, uh, with your own brand, uh, unlimited domain names, unlimited databases, rate 10 redundancy, all that essential stuff that you need. But one thing that is missing, that's really important is again, the free billing and automation suite. And so right here, you have to have their gold plan in order to have the free WHMCS, not free because like you're paying 64. So it's kind of included. Whereas like with these two packages, that's not included. So it's on, it's your responsibility to go get a WHM, <laughs> WHMCS. Oh, <laughs> please come with a different name than that. Anyways, it's your responsibility to get your own license if you're going to be using host papa and you want to be using these two packages which is kind of a phantom cost so it adds a little bit more to this uh, so that's just something to be aware of when taking a look at host papa but otherwise i like host papa they get into detail about what you specifically get within your client uh within your account for and what your clients specifically get and i like that they have this frequently asked question section right here where they cover all of the essential things that Standard questions you're always going to have, uh, for example, like how is billing handled? You're like you're responsible for collecting payments for your clients. Most host Bob reseller packages include professional billing software uh, where you get up to 250 clients at no extra charge. And so I'm assuming that's this right here with the WHMCS, which, which means like with this license that you can have like 250 specific individual accounts all paying you money. Uh, anyways, that's number five, host Papa. Number six is HostGator.com. So yeah, HostGator still offers reseller hosting. I think a lot of the big name brand web hosts are kind of moving away to focus more on like managed WordPress hosting and, and VPS and their affiliate program, but HostGator is still going strong with their reseller hosting and it's not bad. It's not a bad program. So anyways, they have three options. So their aluminum plan, 
uh, right here, you get 60 gigabytes of disk space, 600 gigabytes of bandwidth. That's pretty standard compared to other reseller hosting accounts. You get unlimited domain names, which is fantastic. So for example, like you have like three clients, they each have their own cPanel. They can have like unlimited quote unquote websites through their cPanel. So that's really helpful to know when creating your own specific hosting packages through uh, HostGator's reseller hosting uh, program. And so right down here, we click on technical specs. So HostGator, I definitely like in the sense that they don't overwhelm you with technical information. For me as like a professional, I much more appreciate like name heroes really getting into the really nitty gritty about what you specifically get. But if you don't like understand half the lingo, <laughs> like HostGator is not bad because it just tells you a little bit more simple about what it is. Now, one thing that's missing is like how many cPanel accounts, how many client accounts can I get with the this plan? And so you know, sometimes you just have to reach out and ask. So for example, I went went ahead and asked that. So like how many cPanel accounts for each reseller package? It's like, uh, that's a great question. You can create unlimited cPanel accounts on your reseller account. You just have to make sure that this space is the disk space uh, doesn't exceed the amount of cPanel accounts. So that's good to know. So it comes down here, like how much disk space you get, that's something to be aware of. And so this looks that so that starts looking really nice. Look at that 140 gigabytes of disk space uh, starting at twenty four ninety five a month. Uh, so I would just be a little bit careful, though, because this is like the first month here. And then it's like, all right, asterisk. OK. And so prices reflect discount on first term. So what do you mean? First term or first month? That's what I want to know. Like typically what posts offer an introduction rate for like the first year and then it renews at the normal rate. So I'd kind of like to know a little bit more about that. But in general, I think HostGator is not bad. OK, so it's like you get free WHMCS client management and billing software. That's great. And then you have not quote unquote unlimited <laughs> client accounts. You know, you're not limited to like 20 or 25 like other resellers, but you basically have to just manage your own specific disk space. And so, you know, and that's pretty standard because again, like, you know, you'll see other resellers like, OK, you get 20 client accounts and you get all of these resources. So what ends up happening is like you hit the 20 client account mark. So that makes you upgrade or you see other resellers. What they'll do is you know, you'll get uh, a ton of re a ton of accounts like here, here you go. Here's 40. Here's 40 client accounts you can have. But then they don't provide a lot of way of resources and they, they force you to upgrade that way. So I like that HostGator is at least a little bit straight in the sense that they offer disk space and bandwidth, uh, et cetera. And to help you like, you know, you, you just got to self manage it yourself. And so, you know, whenever you have questions, again, just reach out to the web post and, you know, it's their job. So they'll be more than happy to answer any random question that you have. But anyways, that's number six, HostGator.com. Number seven is GoDaddy.com. So GoDaddy does offer reseller hosting, and they also offer a very interesting reseller program. And so these two are a little bit different. I want to explain what they are to help you make a decision. Personally, I'm not a big fan of GoDaddy's reseller program. I'll just be straight with you. I think it's way too expensive. It starts at $39.99. Like other reseller programs where we're starting like the introduction rate of $15.99 or $16.99. And then you know you get 20 accounts and like you know, this is like $40 just to start. And it's two CPUs, four gigabytes of RAM, 90 gigabytes of storage. So you're paying a lot and you're not getting a lot in the way of resources. Then it's very light on technical details down here. So it's like we get free integrated WHMS license and up to 250 white label ready accounts. And so it's probably 250 white label ready accounts because that is the limit of the how many accounts you can have with WHMCS. And so like that means like you can have 250 paying clients and, and under a w, standard w, a, a WHMCS license. And so that's why it probably says that. And so it's probably like unlimited. It doesn't even say this. That's why it's very frustrating because it doesn't give me the technical details I really want to know. So like if we come down here, like how many accounts do I get, et cetera? I'm, I'm assuming that this is just going to be similar to like HostGator where uh, you just got to manage it yourself. So you can have like unlimited cPanel accounts, for example, but you just got to manage uh, based on the bandwidth and storage. And so as you have more accounts, you probably have to increase your uh, account to increase the storage, etc. And so personally, the reselling program program is OK. But again, I think there's much better options out there. Now, the reseller program in general, this one is very interesting. So what this is, is you resell GoDaddy products, all GoDaddy's products with your own brand. And so 
what it means is like you take GoDaddy's products and then you have to add your own specific margin on top of it. Okay, so like for example, like if you we wanted to, you know, charge for our own hosting. So let's come over here, let's open up hosting, and like we could just come down here. And so these are their hosting packages. So for example, I could pay uh, right down here. I'd probably go with this one, the pro reseller, because it's unlimited customers. And so pay this, you know, you pay this pro reseller, then you can go and create your own WordPress website. Okay, once you you once you've done that, and then you can just start selling GoDaddy services under your own brand, and they provide support, which is fantastic because uh, with reseller hosting, the support is on you, and so that's a downside of reseller hosting a little bit because like most people don't really need that much support, but again support is on you but when you do the reseller program when any client ever has a support they open want to open up a ticket godaddy takes care of it with your specific branding but the way that this makes money is that you have to resell their services and then you have to increase the prices so like if i was a if i was under the reseller program i would have to charge for like web hosting i would charge like 7.99 for that and then like my margin would be two dollars okay so if i had someone who signed up through my specific storefront and I'm a GoDaddy reseller, then I would make $2 a month from that person who bought a web hosting package through my account. That makes sense. So that sounds very small, but like since it's unlimited, the more customers you get, it kind of really stacks over time. So like you can get to a point where you have like, you know, a thousand customers and every thousand customers paying like $2, like a little $2 margin on web hosting and then you're collecting that $2,000 then you can really build a nice passive income. It's a very slow burn process. Whereas compared to the reseller hosting, the way that this works is that you pay one fee, but instead like I'm paying $40 a month for the enhance. And then maybe I have t like 20 clients and all my 20 clients each are paying like $10, $10, $10. I'm collecting that entire $10. So like which one is better per se? In general, I think their broad reseller program is better because while the margins are going to be a lot smaller, you know, you can just have unlimited customers and they provide the support. <laughs> and then it's like all you have to do is develop a website and create the branding. And then you just take all of GoDaddy services. Uh, you know, let's come down here. There are different services right here. So it's like web hosting, domain names, SSO certificates, website builder. And then you get a piece of that you get a piece of that money <laughs> like you just take the different accounts you just add add to a little bit and that's your margin and that's how it works so again like i said so like if i was able to get again like a thousand people maybe that would take me a few years okay maybe if i had two dollars okay my margin is two dollars i have a thousand people i'm making two thousand dollars in passive income because i'm a i'm a godaddy program reseller and i'm all, all i'm doing is paying one flat rate and with unlimited customers whereas reseller hosting is better uh if you're going to if you want to have like fewer clients but make a higher margin a little bit faster if that makes sense i hope i explained that really well but in general for like reseller hosting i think there's a lot better options than godaddy i think godaddy though really shines with this unique uh reseller program but anyways that's number seven godaddy all right, everybody, that is it for this video on the best reseller hosting packages available right now. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and explore the channel. So my name is David, WebsiteCreatePro.com. Thank you very much for being here and watching. Have a great day, and bye-bye.